Series of gun related crimes and deadly shootings upsetting and shocking the community. Delano police taking action. The police department with a new gun violence operation today. Dozens of officers saturating the area, cracking down on a rise in violent crime. 23 ABC's Leslie Gooden visited Delano today and was able to go behind the scenes with officers to learn more about how they are working to keep the community safe. Good evening. Today I was able to take a ride along with the Delano Police Department where 70 officers from multiple agencies participated in a probation sweep where they took drugs and guns off of the Delano streets. Today, the Delano Police Department, along with several other neighboring agencies, totaling 70 officers, teamed up and conducted a probation and compliance search operation to further their efforts in reducing gun violence and any other illegal activity amid an uptick in violent crime. Uh, he's got paraphernalia and stuff like that. He's not here, so they're probably going to write up some kind of probation parole hold on him. And as soon as they find him, they'll pick him up. The Corps searched 68 residencies throughout Delano and have made a dozen arrests of individuals in violation with their parole. 23 ABC is told that there will be an additional arrest for individuals who weren't home but found illegal items in their possession. Hey, uh, possession of marijuana. Yeah. The Delano Chief of Police confirmed that they were able to take meth, marijuana, two firearms, and one replica gun and other illegal items off the streets of Delano thanks to the operation. Uh, you know, 10 pounds of methamphetamine or 12 pounds as it is wrapped, uh, that's a lot of dope. That gets uh, a lot of people high. And those drugs, no doubt, were intended for our streets. The Delano Police Department says that they randomly conduct these operations often and are using this service as a conjunction with the gun violence operation that the department launched last week as a response to the last four back-to-back -back homicides caused by shootings that still remain unsolved. There's no reason for us to believe that this, at least as we stand here today, that these suspects are responsible for the murders. That said, we, don't, we do believe that a lot of the violence is related to gang activity and those responsible for drug trafficking often uh, fund themselves through illicit activity, frequently drug sales. Even though it's not directly connected to it, we believe that generally it is associated. The Delano Police Department says they found over $4,000 over the past five days with the sweep and want this to be a message to the community that this activity will not be tolerated. Here, do these compliance searches and checks and we don't arrest anybody, we're actually happy because that means people are in compliance and that's what we want. We want compliance. We're not looking to arrest people. The Delano Police Department says they will continue to conduct these unannounced searches and want to remind the community if you know any information on the recent four homicides to please contact their department. In Delano, Lozal Gooden, 23 ABC News, connecting you.